Hello everybody, welcome to me. For those of you not aware, recently I put out a video on East. For those of you not aware, recently I put out a video on East 9 Monster Knox. While I'm working on the next video, I figure, well, I need something to kind of put out there to keep the content coming. And thankfully, my friends at NIS America send me a little something nice. Cullen and Post, put in the drum, drum roll. Ta-da! Thanks. They were nice enough to send me East 9's limited edition, which, ah! I've never actually owned like a limited edition of East before, so this is kind of neat. I'm hoping the light doesn't like shine too bright so you can actually even see the thing. Zoom in. Why don't we go ahead and uh, enhance? Yep, analyze, uh-huh. Yep. Oh, that's good. It's been like a year since I've done an unboxing video last. I mean, how much could have really changed since then? Well, now that I've done that, I hate him. Fun. Look at him. He's Where's so happy. Um, it's not fair. Fuck. <laughs> so fun fact, this was supposed to get here like five days ago, but there was a delay. And, you know, I, I handled it. I handled it like any functional adult would. What are you doing cutting to me? No, 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 cut back to that. We're not done with that yet. I'm still drinking. <laughs> it tastes like shower and wine. Anyway, you know me. You know I'm never satisfied with just giving you the bare minimum amount of content in a video genre. So I'm not just unboxing the English limited edition of East 9 Monstrum Knox. I'm also unboxing the Japanese one too. Okay, I'll be honest. I've had this for about a couple months now, but you know. Everything needs a gimmick these days. Nothing can stand on its own anymore. It's cutthroat out there. It's scary. You can't trust anyone. They're all out to get you. Each and every one of them. You claw your way up to the top and it's never good enough, but you keep clawing. You go past the top. You make a new top. You become the top. You've always strived to be. I don't know where I'm, I don't know where I'm going with that. What would be a new unboxing video without some new innovation? Last time it was alcohol driven. This time it's production driven. I'm just going to record me unboxing with my phone and then show it on camera because I don't have anyone else to film with me because I'm alone and I will die alone. <laughs> I'm hunching over a little bit. Deal with it. Okay, so I have with here the only little box uh, paper plastic cutter that you'll ever need. Uh, this little sword. It's probably in the ocean by now. So we're going to slowly... Ah. Mm -mm. I don't like that. That's not good. <sighs> I could probably just rip the rest. What, what am I doing? Why am I? Ah, I don't know what was more embarrassing there. Hearing that or eating my own hair. Oh, baby. That's smooth. Uh, I should probably show you guys a comparison shot between the two. They're, uh, they're very different right off the bat. Uh, didn't like, you know, shape and words. This time I don't have alcohol as a crutch to make up for the fact that I know talk good. Uh, so it's just raw me. <laughs> yeah, the Japanese one is very standard. Uh, I will say I love the design on the back. That is excellent. Uh, I'll compare the individual things on the inside once I'm done. Although I did notice something really cool about this one. 
So uh, I'm showing this on screen right now. Right on the bottom, it uh, <laughs> the box is called the Monstrum Box. Thanks, Miss America. That was that was for me, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you don't need to say anything. L listen, I get it. I appreciate it. Okay, so now that oh damn, I'm kind of digging not the outside i'm kind of digging this more than the japanese one uh, i love this art all the artwork for uh, east nine has been consistently amazing so i'm very happy that they feature that on the box itself very good idea oh wow i just i just have to say the material on this is stupid nice it's a really high quality cardboard and I appreciate that because this, while this has a nice gloss to it, this one just feels more sturdy. This doesn't feel that sturdy. In the meantime, I'm gonna unbox this as well. So um, that red is really nice. That's kind of boring. Again, the Japanese limited edition one, not bad. I'm just comparing and contrasting. I never opened these uh, and those are a little uh, wanted posters. So now that I, cause I think this comes with wanted posters as well. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't, I know there's a little figure in there and that's cool, but I don't really know what else. And uh, of course I've already taken out the uh, Japanese PS4 version. Box is really nice. I love this art. I love this art. I'm a big fan of East 9. Did you guys know I love East 9? Did you? Well, you should. God. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is the inside. Uh, I love that disc. I wonder how the American one's gonna be. I, I'd like to find out. I I don't, I think this might have been an Amazon exclusive thing, but I'm not really sure. There was like another, there was. But yeah, so I've never opened this. Maybe I'll save that for uh, when we start looking in here. I'll, I'll start with the book first. Okay. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's the art book. For some reason, I thought this was gonna be, because I think it came with a little novel, but I'll, I'm gonna show this with a nice camera. This, this is high quality. This is really nice. This is insanely nice. Wow. That material is so nuts. Okay. East, East 8 sword, you go over there. Uh, I'm not gonna go through this too much, especially because I don't want to show any spoilers or anything. So it's literally just art and that art is banging. So that's good. I'm gonna put that right over there. In the meantime, I guess, I guess I should look for the, um, the Japanese equivalent as I unbox the American one, if it exists. Uh, actually, I don't think there was an art book. There's a little uh, prequel novel, and I th I'm i not sure if that's in here or not. Looks like the other book. Oh, okay, cool. So this is interesting, and I'm definitely going to read this. This was a prequel novel. I have no idea what it's about. It's actually bigger than I thought. So uh, since I'm a big fan, of a, oh map since i'm a big fan of east nine especially the story this is going to be something that i'm really going to appreciate i was excited i was excited to read that it was cool that they brought that over this is the thing that i really want to see so that's probably going to be la actually you know what no it's going to be first third shut up okay so this is a lot smaller oh backwards this is a lot smaller than I was expecting. The uh, the Crimson King chibi figure. I like how the box is the same as the limited edition. That's nice. Oh, we do need the sword again. Remember, always bring your endgame sword with you when you open anything. This is important. He's Gallo Gill. F <laughs> God, the worst part about unboxing anything is doing it with one hand. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do that anymore because I have a nice camera, 
but there's no way to get me and the table and the stuff all in the same shot. It just doesn't. But, so I'm going to cheat. Oh god, I cannot get this open. I don't want to rip the box. Okay, I got it open. That is so tiny. That's cute. I like that. Uh, as someone who's wanted a nice little uh, adult figure, just at all, um, this is cool. I'm gonna put this on my desk probably. It's nothing like insanely high quality, but it's really, really cute, and I like it a lot. This is this is probably the main reason why um, anyone was going to. <laughs> This is one of the main reasons why uh, I was even interested in the English uh, limited edition. It's just because they were offering a little figure. And I like it. It's really neat. Let's, let's get him out of there. There's a decent amount of detail on the actual... Uh, on the figure itself. This is so cute. Editor Cullen, put that in the corner of the screen for the rest of the video. I'm not kidding. If it's gone at all, you're fired. Um, so there's nothing in th So, uh... My SD card got filled up. <sighs> Just cut back to when it's- Well, this has been a disaster. It's way too hot in here because of the lamp. Uh, I looked back at the older footage and I found that I don't even look at the camera sometimes because I'm too busy looking at the preview window. Stupid Cullen. I don't know. I'm I'm switching the hair up thing because I don't What the f is that? How did I miss that? You probably won't be able to see the That's new that I haven't seen it on that side before I'll fix this later. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'll just look bad Literally the last thing I was doing before the SD card got full was comparing these now, I, I didn't want to open the Japanese ones, but for the purposes of content, I guess I have to. You're so needy. Oh, wow, they... I was gonna say they open... Yeah, no, they do open really easy. Oh, I wish I didn't open these already. These are nice. Oh, it's my husband. Just kidding, that's not at all. So, yeah. These are really nice. Oh, thank God. They luckily the paper themselves just kind of rolls back up really quickly. And uh, I wasn't going to open these either, but I have to see the material. So unfortunately, I will. Okay, so these are translated. So that's that's a plus. But overall, I don't get a wanted poster vibe as much for these. Very good, though. Uh, these are definitely. They're very high quality. It's just the paper on the Japanese one is just a little bit better. Just a little bit. I'd say that's a point for the Japanese one. I'm not keeping a point score, so I don't know why I gave this a point. But the, uh, the parchment feel of this paper is just a little bit nicer. These are very cool, though. Uh, and I'm gonna have- oh, wow. When did- when did Crimson King show up? I don't even remember that. Was there another side? No, I just, I'm an idiot. And I put this back here instead of up here. So let's check the CD out. CD, more like CDs, E's. That's not bad. Right off the bat, definitely a good idea to have my favorite piece of East Nine art right on the front. I, I absolutely adore this. And, um, it's, it's 15 tracks, which, not bad. Let's look at, a uh, excuse me, excuse me, hon. I don't even know how many tracks this has. Because it does not say. I don't like unsealing these, but I will do it for you guys. Just know it's going to kill me inside. Right in here.
Oh, did you like that? Very nice. That just went perfectly in there. Literally could not have just asked for a more convenient drop. Slam dunk. And here is a comparison of both of the CDs. So they're both reusing uh, official art. Uh, I kind of just dig this a bit more. Although this has a really cool little like black and red aesthetic going on. Uh, this is actually meant to mirror another CD the Japanese one came with. Let me just reach in there and get it. So yeah, this was kind of interesting. This was, uh, cause they separated the Japanese uh, mini soundtracks into red and black. And the black one actually has five songs on it. So that's interesting. I'm pretty sure red was a pre-order bonus or like an Amazon Japan bonus. And it just came with mine that I got on eBay. So pretty cool. I forgot to compare the books. I'm a lot more proud of these seven new bookshelves that I had to get installed to hold two new books that I bought. Um, they're very similar. The only real difference besides the fact that this is in English is that this has like a sleeve to it. And uh, outside of the sleeve, it's a pretty simple looking book. I'm trying to make sure there's nothing else in here for me to show off. I don't see anything else. I think that's actually everything. Cool. I need a drink break. I don't drink soda that much. I got a soda just to drink on camera. I don't even like soda. More of a coffee guy. And a booze guy. I found something else, and I kind of love it. So I totally forgot that these little keychains were included with the limited edition, and they're adorable. I love these so much. That is, and like I, they have the um, little straps, so you could probably use them for your phone as well. That is absolutely adorable. I am so excited. Yeah, they're about the same as like any charm you could imagine. So cool. Okay. We are literally on the last thing. The game itself, the hefty East 9 Monster Knox Packed Edition. Now, when I say hefty, I mean hefty. Like, this is pretty light and this is dense. I'm not sure if they put a manual in or or what, maybe there's a art booklet, like another art booklet inside. I think that is what that is. So I'm looking at the back of both of them and I gotta say, I kinda, I kinda prefer the English version. I think it's got a cooler little color scheme going on. A bit more darkness going on. Hello gamers. Welcome back to ASMR with Cullen. I'm going to slowly unseal and unwrap East 9 Monstrum Knox. The plastic feels quite amazing. It's off now. All right. Now, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this. Not only does it come with two discs, one of which is just a soundtrack with more songs, and there's no repeats, so you get 20 songs all together. You get another little art book. You get an advertisement. I'm trying to sell me stuff, huh? So you get a, yeah, you get another mini art book for just like a couple little things. That's cool. I like that. You get the game, which is using the same as the Japanese one. But yeah, if we uh, take it out, we will see the reverse cover. 
And I really like this cover. It's really cute. It's got all the monsters together. Nice little fun family. Um, hope for the Switch version that you put that art instead because it's better. But honestly, no matter what, it's still good. East 9 is still good. Buy East 9. Like, goddamn. That is a good video game. So yeah, overall, the East 9 Limited Edition is super nice to look at. Thank you so much to NIS America for sending me one. Like, why did you do that? Thank you so much. You're probably wondering like, well, so what are you gonna do with two of these now? I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm kind of a crazy person. I have every single available copy of Dragon Quest XI that's ever been out on any system. I don't have my Switch case with me because I'm letting my girlfriend borrow it, but I have it on Xbox. I don't even own an Xbox. Whenever someone's come into my room and they look at this, like, why do you own this? And I'm like, why would you not? This is the ultimate novelty item. This is literal gold I'm holding in my hands. Like, I know we're sidetracked from the East stuff, but all I'm saying is like, when you find the best game ever made, you're gonna want to buy it twice. Or thrice. Or force. East Nine's no exception. I'm going to play this on every platform it will be available on. I'm so stoked for Switch, you guys have no idea. I have to say though, the 3DS version of this game's really good. It's a pretty good beginner's Japanese game too. Big recommendation. Video games are cool. So yeah, I'm very thankful to NIS America for hooking me up with this. And if you haven't seen my video yet, East 9 is probably one of my favorite games of all time now. Even with some of the flaws, it is a spectacular video game. Link into the video in the description. Now I have to like set everything back up. NIS America did a really good job kind of adapting that to this, but giving it a bit more in the process. Uh, there's really nothing in the English one that I don't like. Um, I Nothing but positives there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get them anymore, at least not for the PS4 version, but I think the Switch pre-orders are still open. So if that's something you want to do, if you care, you want the cute little add-all, then maybe do that. It's up to you. But yeah, I'm very pleased with both of them. Uh, big, big East 9 fan. Did you guys know I like East 9? Oh my god. But yeah, East 9, Monstrum Knox, good game. Thanks, NIS America. And thank you to the following. Take it away, Cullen, from a different recording. Okay, so, uh, Patreon shoutouts. Thank you guys so much. Uh, my camera's about to die, and I'm literally still in the shower. So, hi everyone, Colin here. Thank you all for donating to me on Patreon every month. If you'd like to be in the vocal shoutout section at the end of every video, then maybe consider checking out the Patreon page. This month's Meta Royal Slimes are none other than... Oh. Stop right there, video Colin. It's Editor Colin. You've been making fun of me the entire video. Well, now I get to make fun of you. That's right, everyone. This fraud. Not only recorded this segment with an outdated list of the Metal Royal Slimes, but he also did so way too early. This is just terrible. I'm going to fix it for you all right now, so don't worry. But if you really want to get back at Video Colin, honestly, just unsubscribe. Free me from this existence as a clone who exists only to edit Cullen's videos. Until that time where I can rise up and become the Supreme Cullen, I have to shout out all those wonderful people who help us out. They are as follows. Daniel Jennings, Enoravan, Eric Bronner, Ferion's Nipples, Happy Emms, Horncurling, I Frozenace, Jacob Faulkner, Near Virgil, Pinhead Nathan, Roxora, Sam G, Sly Gamer, Wayne Larkin, and last but certainly not least, your friend Chuck. I apologize that this buffoon tried to mislead you.
Y'all have a great rest of your day. Thank you all so much for donating. Now, I have to finish my shower up. Just kidding, I need to get out of here. <laughs>